How's it going, everyone? As always, God bless you. Thank you for being here. I'm Gage, and this is Candy Coral Aquatics. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button while you're here. I could really use all the subscribers I could get, as I'm trying to make it to about 5,000. Currently, we're at about 3.9. So if you like what you see, please go ahead and hit subscribe. This is where I talk about all things reefing, but more importantly, where I share the information I've gathered with my tank, with you guys, to help you become better hobbyists at this hobby we call reefing. Today is going to be an update as promised. It is Tuesday, May 7th, and I'm coming to you guys with an update on the 60-gallon cube that I restarted. If you watched my previous video, you saw there was nothing in here. This was a complete rehaul and restart, so let's go over what we have in the tank thus far. Fish-wise, we've got the algae-eating blenny and the uh, liar-tail anthea. I do currently have a cleaner shrimp. Let's go ahead and see if we can zoom in on him. He's actually next to the black widow anemone, which we'll get to in a minute. But let's just see if I can do this. I'm shooting this on my Samsung Ultra in HD mode at 60 frames per second. Um, first time I've done this, this is a brand new phone, so just trying to play with the settings here a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see him in there. Uh, but there's the cleaner shrimp. He's just a little guy. He actually recently molted, but he's super small. All right, let's zoom back out and get back going with the stock list. Uh, as we discussed before, we've got some cleaners in the tank, some snails, some hermit crabs. Um, and that's really all that I've got going on as far as stock is concerned. Let's go over the corals that I've recently added, as well as the anemone. So in the top right-hand side of the screen, you're actually going to see a multi-head of Dragon Soul Torch. Moving up from there to the left side of the tank, that is a Sunset Montipora. Then moving straight down from that, you're going to see a Mummy Eye Chalice. And then just to the kind of corner right of that is a small colony of Rasta Zoas. Down in the corner right-hand side of the tank, closest to the glass, you'll see two frags of Green Star Polyps. Now these are a neon green variety with a white center. What I'm actually attempting to do is to grow them out and then I will place them against the back wall to where I can hopefully have an entire kind of just green carpet, if you will, growing over the back of the tank. I think it's going to look really cool and make all the other colors in the tank pop. Right in the very middle, it's hard to see it in that kind of large piece of rock in the very center of the glass towards the front, is a, th I believe there's three or four polyps of uh, purple people eater zoas. Now I've been told that these are the originals from like, I think it was like the 1960s. So they actually look a little bit different uh, than the purple people eaters that are out there. I haven't investigated this myself, but from what I was told, these have a green skirt, whereas the new ones have no green in them at all. Uh, if any of you guys know whether that's true or not, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. And in the left-hand side of the tank, we have a black widow anemone. I'm actually going to be getting some clownfish soon, but I don't want to spoil you guys, uh, or spoil this, the surprise, unless I've already mentioned them in a previous video. I might have, but if I haven't, uh, I'm not going to tell you what kind they are until they get here. All right, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at the coral. We'll start off at the very top at the Sunset Monopora. I'm going to kind of move this camera stand in a little bit. So I'm using a filter on my Samsung, and... Um, this is the newest Samsung that came out. I, I think it's, what is it, like the S25 or S26? I don't even know what number they're on anymore, but it's the newest one that just came out. So as I mentioned, I haven't really shot a lot of video with it. Um, so forgive me as I mess around with this, but let's go ahead and zoom in on this. That is a frag of Sunset Monopora. And I don't know why, if it's, it has to do because it's you know, underwater or what, but I can't quite get it to focus perfectly, but I can get pretty close. Um, but there's there's a Sunset Monopora. It's an orange base with bright neon green polyps. I think that's going to look pretty cool as it starts to encrust out from the rock. Uh, moving straight down from that, we've got a frag of Mummy Eye Chalice. So let's go ahead and move this down so we can see that. Hopefully none of you guys have motion sickness. All right, there's some mummy eye chalice right there. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit. There we go. 
And then down from there we have a medium size, I guess you could call it, kind of starter colony of Rasta zoanthids. These are still some of my all-time favorite zoas. They're just so wild. They kind of remind me of a, actually, they do remind me of an everlasting gobstopper, if you guys are familiar with those. Really cool looking. If I can zoom in. There we go. That looks better. Well, well it did. All right, moving on. Let's go take a look at that Dragon Soul Torch. Let's see if I can just focus just a little bit better here. So the Dragon Soul Torch is purple and gold with kind of like a, almost like a minty green tips on the tentacles. Let's see what we can do here as far as zooming in on it. Very beautiful coral. I'm running this in Ultra HD at 60 frames a second, so I'm really hoping the video quality is going to turn out good on YouTube. All right, coming straight down from that, let's go back here. There's those frags of Green Star Polyp. And moving to the left of those, there are the OG purple people eaters, or so I'm told. So those look pretty sweet as they grow out also. And then last but certainly not least, we have the Black Widow and Enemy. All right, so I'm going to zoom back out. That's where we are right now with what is new in the tank and what is current in the tank. Um, so as you can see, we're definitely getting back on track as far as the corals are concerned. Uh, there we go. That looks, that looks decent. All right, now as far as dosing, if you guys have been here for a while, or even if you're new, you might have stumbled across the video, I am actually back to using Ulfa Reef. So if you guys have not yet seen my video on Tropic Marin's Ulfa Reef, I highly suggest that you go and watch it. Um, I've actually been very pleased to see that I've had quite a few very kind comments on that video that I produced on how to dose Ulfa Reef. I've had several people telling me that it's been very informative, um, the easiest video that they've found on YouTube thus far explaining how to dose it, and I really appreciate that. So if you'd like to try all freak in your system, please go ahead and look at that video because I'm not going to go over it in great detail in this one, but essentially all Farif is kind of what it says. It's a all Farif dosing uh, supplementation, if you will, for all your major and minor trace elements. And what I really like about All for Reef is in a, I would say like a small to medium sized system, small being nano, medium size, um, my tank's 60 gallons. You could probably dose this comfortably in a 75 to 90 gallon tank. After that, it does get a little bit expensive. Um, I'm not saying you still couldn't do it, um, but the price per dose is going to be more than some of your other, say, two or three part solutions. However... Um, in a small to medium sized tank, I'd say 90 gallons or less, it's, it's a perfect option. And the reason why it's a perfect option, because it's, it's everything that you need in one dose. So it's just a one part dosing system. It provides alkalinity, calcium, magnesium, and all your major and minor trace elements. The previous tank that I had running before, which was this tank before it crashed, um, all the corals that were in there, I grew strictly with all for reef. Um, I didn't dose anything else. So, yeah, go ahead and check that video out. So that's where we are today, guys, and uh, definitely going to be more to come along. I think that I'm going to be posting another video here um, very shortly, either today, maybe tomorrow. But as soon as we're done with this video, I'm actually going to go ahead and make another one because I had a very, very good question asked um, on the video of how to dose all for reef. Uh, somebody asked a very good question, which I'm going to go over in the next video because, um, yeah, it's just something that I think a lot of people wonder, and uh, I think it'll help some people out. So until next time, guys, take care, God bless, and we'll see you soon.